Hi everyone, this is just a very short uh, video, uh, you can't really call it a tutorial as such, but just a very brief thought that I had. Uh, recently I've uh, seen a video on a channel which I'll link in my video description, I think it's uh, Gaming Careers, and this chap has been very helpful. He's uh, provided a video on uh, rendering settings for Premiere Pro in uh, 2017, and this was these were the settings that I used to use for a lot of my videos until very very recently and in fact these are the settings that I actually mention in my own tutorial video and yes the quality of the video is good but my god it takes a long time so my recommendation now is to not adhere to that and to do what this chap does which is to turn off the uh, render at maximum depth which I believe is more for uh, sort of photography and other sort of media turn off the maximum render quality you gain an improvement yes but it'll take so much longer uh, and I have to keep this at 5.2 here due to uh, recording at 1440p uh, the profile I keep is high so those two things still stay, uh, stay the same as does the resolution but I drop the bitrate right down to 30 now you look at the estimated file size when I drop down to 30 it's now down to about 3.15 gigabytes and then I make the maximum bitrate from uh, 127.5 to 66 now I base this on uh, Google's recommendations for 1440p uh, I have tried doing 24 as a target bitrate, which I think the first Quake video I did in this episode, so episode 3, map 1, I think that's 24, and I thought it was a little bit mushy in places, a little bit pixelated and blocky, but 30 I'm quite happy with. Uh, so yeah, it's not going to be quite as good as what they were before, but the, the amount of time um, saved on rendering and uploading is just massive uh, and I, I really did believe that I had to have these settings up high in order to uh, you know get a good quality video and this all really began when I used to do Stalker uh, I did a, an Oblivion Lost 3.1 uh, non commentated playthrough and uh, I was just very frustrated that whenever I did a video <laughs> It used to look really blocky and rubbishy, and I found out by accident just by increasing the bitrate uh, and increasing my recording bitrate as well, which is very important, uh, that I could, in, in games like Stalker and Fallout 4, you could reduce that blockiness um, by you know increasing the bitrate, which essentially means increasing the detail. Uh, but I thought I had to do that. I thought I had to go really high, like as high a target bitrate as uh, the recording bitrate, but uh, I, I was wrong. So I'd just like to say thanks to Gaming Careers, which uh, I will, as I say, I'll link his channel and uh, the video in the uh, video description of this video. That was a bit of a mouthful. And um, hopefully it will help you as much as it's helped me. It's uh, uh, rather than, you know, taking two, three, four hours to render a video, it's doing it in an hour or hour and a half. Uh, uploading it in sort of you know 20 to 40 minutes rather than three to four hours so it just means that uh, you know the grind of uh, rendering and uploading is uh, significantly lightened so I just thought I'd put this out there for those that are struggling to know what settings to use uh, obviously if you're doing 1080p uh, recording then you can drop that down to 5.1 but uh, that's not an option for me as far as I'm aware 5.2 is what it needs to be uh, so yeah, uncheck those and lower the bitrate and away you go. Thanks for watching.